tell us who you are, because males don't know. Chris Avery, I'm going for KS Custom. All right, now we're back here. Which one's yours? That big white piece of shit. What, uh, what is it? Uh, 2001 W900 Kevlar. Is there any upgrades you did to it? Jet power chip on that's it. And you guys pull, pull pots, pull hogs. Yeah, pull hogs, a little bit of cows, two pigs, got six reapers, eight more eggs. Do you like, do you like hauling hogs or do you want to do like grain hauling or anything? Yeah. No? Grain hauling sucks at my own time. Hauling pigs ain't bad. Stinks. Pull rough on the body. Probably rough on the paint on the gravel and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we. We hug on our speed on the gravel. Yeah. Yeah, we take it pretty easy. So what made you, right? I've known you for a long, long, long time. What made you get in trouble? Well, I was farming. And I had some family disagreements. Figured it was better off to do something else. Had a buddy that worked here. Talked to him a little bit. Talk to the guy that owns this place. Hook me up, I guess. You, you, you did this. You went when I was this way younger. You yeah, I've been here five, yeah, five years, March 3rd. It's only been five years. Mm -hmm. Five or six. I don't remember. One or two. Six. Five, six years, something like that. The camera lady says six. Six years? Yeah, yeah, whatever she says. <laughs> sure. Yeah, six years, been here. So, what is like? From going from farming, just to be gone on the road all the time. Well, it goes from this time of year of being like my brothers, fishing on the lake all day long, getting up whenever you want, pretty much, go do whatever to time up at two, three, four, five o'clock every morning. Usually loading by between half yeah, four and six. Gone all day most of the time. Getting lazy now, so. Hey, you're getting older. older. Getting yeah, older. Yeah, yeah. grayer there. Yeah, getting a little grayer. A little wiser, but grayer. A little lazier. Now, um, being just married, because that was one hell of a party you had. What's it like now being saying goodbye to your wife and being gone? And uh, honestly, it's kind of nice. <laughs> Get away from her for a little while. <laughs> you don't have to deal with her. It's, it's not bad. I mean, I'm home. Most of the time, during the week, it might be gone a couple nights a week, but it's nice to a break. Do you guys, do you guys go out west in Montana and everywhere? Yeah, we're going out a little bit in the fall, we some this fall. And then three now, days usually. Now you're big shop guy. Yeah. Yep. Garden semis. Now you're mostly just local hauling pace. Yeah. Yeah, the fall time kind of, we'll run out west a little bit here and there if there's loads. But uh, I guess the cat likes you. <laughs> I guess so too. Yeah, he really likes you now. Now, during like this time of year, we'll be gone some during the week. You know, we load late at night or go somewhere that we load. Like we load a lot down central Iowa, so yeah. we go that direction that day before. Then we'll stay down there and load, and come back up. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh. Go to this camera lady. Yeah. So yeah, we're. I think some of the guys are out quite a bit during the week, but. And you guys have what, six semis? Uh, we got four company trucks, four owner operators, of livestock, and then three, four owner operators on the day. You said this is an old one? This one's yeah, old one? one. That was an old seven, obviously. Company truck. That, that kid that just parts here, he's worked for us. And we have two other trucks. One runs West Coast out of he doesn't come home much. Yeah. Once every couple of months. Jesse, he likes to. He likes, <laughs> he likes, to, he likes to out there. Him and his dog he just goes to the yep. I, I actually just talked to him a couple days ago. Yeah, he just kind of shows up whenever. We don't know when he just randomly shows up. Yep. So. He's out making money at least. Yep, he's out making money. Now, what are traders you guys on? That's right. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of traders do you guys run? Like, what are the pops? Oh, uh, we got seven Wilsons and one Easy Light trailer. They're all newer or they are, but what is that? We got a 106, 07, 12, 13. 
17, 19, I got 19, I got 20. Uh, is there any special laws you guys got to deal with while you're hauling cops? Mm. Like, I mean, we can run our paper log, but we're the same laws as everybody else is supposed to be. You guys got, yeah, you have to wash your trailer out. Yeah. Every, yeah every, was, no, not every load, but usually probably once a day, depending. And that's just to keep diseases and all yeah. that away. Yeah, every load's kind of different. Like, my fat hog loads, we can be dirty, so. Like, well, you start off in the morning with a clean load, and then we'll have a dirty load after that, and then depending on what you got the next day. Like, feeder pigs, I do a lot of small pigs. So, like, those as long as I'm going from the same place to the same place, I don't got to be, I can keep just going yeah. back and forth, but as soon as I go to another barn, I get washed out, disinfected, all that. You got to have clean clothes, and clean boots, and, and just try to cut out the do, you, do you have any of those? Yeah, bogs, or mock boots. Did she, did she, did she hide from you so you got clean clothes always? Yeah. No, we wear actual like coveralls. Alright. Like, we wear jumpsuits. Jumpsuits, gloves. Now I know some of these trucks, you know, I know they have tag axles on them and trailers do. Yeah. What's that? What's the purpose of that? Oh, well, like the tag axle, the first tag, like you got this push on your, like a regular tandem here with a pusher. I mean, if you had a tandem trailer, I think you'd go to 90,000. Spread axle trailer, you know, which is space yeah. out dual with tandem, you go to 86. And like my trailer's got three axles on my trailer, so I can legally go to 90,000. Yeah. So we got three on my trailer, and if I have four on my truck, which, you know, these two you're steering the yeah. then you go to 96 here. You go 98 or 100,000, 100, depending on how far forward it is. Yeah. If you're at nine foot from the center of this axle, that axle would just go like 98,000. In the Dakotas, Montana, Wyoming. Um, I think if you're at 10 one, I think you can go like 100 or 102, kind of depends. And every state has a different weight limit laws. Well, kind of. Not sure why. Don't worry, I, 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 I have an editor at home, I do all this stuff with. Yep. Now, is there anything you have to overcome, like any pros or cons or mm. anything that stumps you with trucking ever? Maybe you're going to be gone a lot more up early in the morning. And that's a big thing, but you both, I mean, long hours. I mean, there's times we run a fair amount of hours. Yeah. I mean, if you're coming out out west, you can't just stop and no. you know take a take a nap. I mean, we load a lot this year out of central Montana. That far run, there's no sleep, and then you just get out there and you go. Well, I mean, my boss is pretty good. Like, I take off the day, you know, two days in advance, so I get out there, stop, take a nap, yeah. and, you know, take a nap on the way out, get the rest of the day, drive out there, get out there the night before, eat, take a shower, have a couple beers, nice. sleep all night, load then. Once you're loaded, then it's straight shot. Back yeah. You haul, do you bring back to, to pack and paint then? Or? No, we go back to feedlots. I mean, coming out out there, they're four to 700 pounds, depending on the lot of the show. You go to have an truck. Yeah. So now, say you had a kid call you, an 18 year old fresh kid, and say he wanted cattle. What would you tell him? Go find something else. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, that's our problem even now is trying to find people up. Not so much want to drive as to know how to drive. Yeah. Or, you know, have the common sense to pick up on stuff. Yep. You know, I can tell somebody the same thing ten times in a row, but if I don't comprehend, well, I'm beating a dead horse. Why waste my time? That's right. And people, you know, people want to work. That's another big thing. I mean. Everybody wants to be home every night. And yeah. I don't want to work on weekends. And they don't want to be gone anymore. They just want to. Yeah, but they want to make a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. They just want to be home nine to five and yeah. go to bed. That's fine. Go work the elevator. Yeah, that's right. True. So that's it. Now this this is the truck you drive now. Yep. I remember your old truck, the one before this. Now which one has been your favorite truck? To drive? The one I had right before this. The same thing. It was an old seven W nine. Midroof, but it was maroon and black. It had good, plenty of horsepower. It just, I don't know. 
That was my that truck's my baby. You know, I love that truck. So. Yeah. yeah, that one was by far my favorite. So you guys said you had a reefer, so you had. Will you you ever haul a reefer? Not very often, every once in a while. Do you but like it on, you like it or not? It's not bad. I mean, it's easy. I mean, made me fat. <laughs> I did it for uh, six, eight months. So you were saying about the reefer for Richard interrupted us. Yeah, I mean, it's easy. I mean, a little more wait time, but I mean, you run all over with that. We do a lot of Chicago stuff, kind of. Midwestern. Yeah. We get all over. That's Everyone's going to get down south. That's a Jesse Hall, isn't it? No, he holds cows. Okay. He's strictly, he's strictly a food hauler. Yeah. Well, are there any cows you want to add? Here we go. Not really. Just get older and fatter, driver. Right? Yeah. Get older, fatter, and grayer. Alright. Boss, pain in my ass. Alright. Yeah.